the format of being robot. Hello there, my expandons. It is your malware and spyware legend, the one and only Purple Gorilla, Vine Sauce Joel's biggest rival in Windows destruction live streams, who always encrypts private data. Bonzi buddy! And today, I'm reading a creepy pasta, whatever you call that shit, based on a lost TV show based on me, known as the Lost Bonzi Buddy TV Show! And this is gonna be super D duper swell, my expandons! I was now invited into the Tovical Bunch, better known as the Robot Bunch for this channel, and I've never read a creepy pasta or any pasta of the kind, at all. So let's start this super D duper swell story! This article, The Lost Bonzi Buddy Show, is an ultra-quality article. This article is one of the best articles on the wiki, and not many articles get to this stage. Please do not edit it, unless you really feel it could be better. You see, that's why it's super swell. I'm so excited. For those of you who don't know about the wiki I'm in, it's called the Lost Episode Creepy Pasta Wiki, renamed from she she is Lost Episode Wiki, who is previously owned by a fucked up individual with the same name. I'm glad that the internet got rid of him, and now the wiki is owned by some good people I don't bother naming. Enough dicking around, let's get on with the start of this slow pasta. This page will always be updated whenever anything from the Bonzi Buddy Show is found. Okay, I'll check back on the page, just to make part two. The Bonzi Buddy Show is a lost children's TV show that is being hunted up since 2009. It was based on the famous spyware, malware to be upright, software Bonzi Buddy. The forum website, BonziBuddy.tk, better known as Bonzi Buddies, had many topics talking about the show. They were the most viewed on the website. Many users on the site said that they remembered watching the show on Nick Jr. Others said they remembered seeing it on Nick Jr. at CVS. A forum post on the site said that a new clip of the show had just dropped, but the video has probably been deleted since it cannot be found anywhere, and it's unknown if the clip was real or fake. The forum post, along with its replies, and the video sadly didn't get archived. BonziBuddy.tk has been closed since 2016, and the owner of the website made a Reddit post explaining why. The following text below was taken from a post from a blog website that had been deleted a few years after the post was made for unknown reasons. The blog post talks about the same lost children's TV show based on the famous spyware software, Bonzi Buddy, and the possibilities that the show itself might even exist, and that the information behind it might be real. Some people think it's a hoax, others think it's lost media. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Now this is where things get really exciting! That picture in the pasta makes me super swell! Let's read the post without any shitty interruptions! October 1st, 2009, 12.30am. Does anyone here remember Bonzi Buddy? That purple gorilla that would annoy the hell out of you, and would make you uninstall it a few minutes after using it? Well, I found out that there was a TV show for kids, based on him, and this is what I found on the internet a few days ago. 2000 was the year Bonzi Software's Bonzi Buddy was getting really popular, with over 4 million downloads. Because of this, in 2001, not only there were Bonzi Buddy plushies as a reward for gold membership users, but Joe and Jay Bonzi has decided to work on a new kids TV show about the Purple Gorilla and his friends, TV, Merlin, Genie, etc. Along with Nick Jr. Productions. When they started working on the show, many people have been hired to work on it. For example, Jay Robinson did the storyboards, and Jason Orion did Bonzi's voice. The show used to be animation. It only lasted three seasons, because of low ratings, and that the software it was based on was later confirmed to be spyware. The main reason people didn't like the show was because it was based on the spyware software, and many users thought that Bonzi, either on the show or on the software, was annoying. The plot the episodes had weren't so bad according to the few users who have liked the show, and they were funny. Some people found one of the episodes stupid, one of them said it was one where Bonzi tries to do stand-up comedy, but fails. 93 episodes were made in total. The show aired on the Nick Jr. channel, and also aired on Nick Jr. at CVS at that time. 
The show was cancelled before Ponzi Software's Max Alert even came out. Believed to be the precursor to Ponzi Buddy, and Joe and Jay Ponzi have confirmed that if the show still wasn't cancelled at the time Max Alert was released, they would have added him onto the show and make an episode where Ponzi and his friends introduce him. Yeah, that's pretty much all the information about the show. What's even strange is that fact that no clips or episodes of the show are on the Nick Jr. website, and trying to look up the show on Google shows no results. How could someone not even record a single airing of this show yet? Well, if someone has ever recorded this show airing on TV, then why didn't they release it on the internet? I tried contacting Jay Robinson, asking for the episodes, but he didn't reply. I tried contacting Jason Orion, and I also got no response. Are the workers of this show busy or something? None of these two seems to give a response. Nick Jr. or Nickelodeon themselves doesn't give a shit about this show anymore and wants it to be absolutely forgotten. I tried contacting them, and there was also no response. How am I supposed to watch at least one single episode from this show if there aren't any recordings of it online? Does the show even exist? Is all of this just a hoax? I have so many questions. If the show isn't on Nick Jr.'s website, then it must be because there's no point on adding a show that was hated because no one was going to watch it, or the show just doesn't exist I guess. Still though, they could have included the show on their website if it is real, because they have no idea that this show is now either lost media or a hoax. I also tried looking up Joe and Jay Lonzi's contacts, but no results. There are no IMDB pages of this show. I tried contacting Nick Jr. because I wanted them to tell me if this show was real or not, and no response. No one replies to me. Why does no one want to talk about this mysterious show anymore? The other people who worked on this show is currently unknown as of now, and until we don't find out who the other workers are, I'm not going to be able to contact anyone else that worked on this show. If a person who worked on this show is reading this, please contact me and give me more information about this show, footage, if you have it, or at least anything else that is from this show. You can give me a script, storyboard, etc. And those people who have footage of this show, please contact me and send me the footage, or publish it on the internet. The Onzi Software website, if I remember correctly, actually had a contact page where you would be able to contact the owners of the website, which is Joe and Jay Onzi. But since the website had been shut down, it made contacting Joe and Jay Onzi a lot harder, since I cannot find their contact anywhere. Also, it says that there were reviews of this show. If so, where? Where did those reviews even come from, and from what website? Was the website deleted? They could have been more specific, as it would be much more easier to find the show, but no they weren't. I think there was also no information of the show on the Lonzi Software website. Maybe I'm wrong, but I have never saw information of this TV show on the site. They may have mentioned it on another page, I didn't visit at the time, their site were still up. I have already checked through my VHS collection, to see if I had a Nick Jr. recording of this show, but no I don't. I'm starting to think that all of this is a hoax, but I'll continue to do research on this lost show. All I want, is that the mystery behind this show, to get solved as soon as possible, and that if the information behind this show is not a hoax, the episodes will be found. Me and my friends are still currently on the hunt for this lost TV show. If you want to join us and help us on the hunt, then feel free to contact me. We'll try as much as we can to track down this lost TV show, and if we're lucky enough, we may end up finding a recording of this show. If anyone remembers seeing this show, then I suggest you join our hunt for this lost show too. Tell us what episodes of it have you seen airing on TV before, what they were called, if you remember, and what they were about. I'll make sure to update this blog if we find something and we'll add the information you give to us. If we don't find anything, then this show might not even exist. Thank you for reading. Well, this didn't seem like a creepy pasta, but it's more like a lost media documentary on a show I don't remember starring. Or should I say, mockumentary, because it seems like a troll pasta based on me, the one and only malware and spyware, Lonzi Buddy. Wait, there's more!
Afterwards, the OP original poster might have never made an update to the page, and their contact as of now is currently unknown, and since the blog website had been deleted. It's unknown if the footage of the show has ever been found or not. But chances of it still has not been found, since searching for the Lonzy Buddy show to this day will still not show any results. There's still a high chance that the show itself does exist though. The OP might have never got a response from Jay Robinson, Jason Orion, or Nick Jr. If the show actually exists, then there would be VHS recordings of this show somewhere in the world, though it's unknown if the copies would even survive. The forum, onzybuddy.pk, had many posts made by users saying they remembered seeing the show. There's also a screenshot of an unarchived post, saying that a clip of the Lonzy Buddy show had just dropped, but it's unknown if it was real or fake. Looking up for a clip about the show will not show any results. The video probably got deleted. People said that the show aired on Nick Jr., others said it was on Nick Jr. at CBS, meaning that the information behind the show could be real, considering the amount of people who remember seeing the show on TV. The topics about the Lonzy Buddy Show were the most viewed ones and the most replied on the website, considering it's lost media. Whoa! That was super swell! But there were a few problems I could point out. The grammar, along with sentence structuring and paragraphing, needs some polishing. It's not unreadable, but it could have been better if it was grammatically written properly, like many other good pastas. For example, the best one I can find is Dead Art, and the Dead Art update most people, like the Shadow Reader and the Dark Author, should read and review. Also, I don't even know what hyperrealism means, but it used to be a common trend in most creepy pastas, especially with lost episode and video game ones. By the way, hyperrealism is a virus that will affect your computer with hyperrealistic blood when you try to write a good creepy pasta, probably a lost episode or video game one. Now with that shit out of the way, let's get on with a review. I believe there is a web series somewhere on YouTube based on me and my friends using Microsoft Agent Scripting Helper, better known as MASH, and even screen recording and or video editing software. I think the web series could have been the Lost Bonzi Buddy TV show, but hell no, that's not what you're looking for. It was an actual Lost TV show for Nick Jr., Nickelodeon's baby channel. And it's 2D animated, not even computer animated like our Asian characters, though that will be a cash-in on the infancy of CG back in the day. Oh, who am I kidding? It's made back in the early 2000s, no wonder that will be the problem, although it was made before Jimmy Neutron was final. Anyway, this story was hired to be an ultra-quality article, to which I am proud, although it suffered through grammatical problems, along with paragraphing. I hope the author will improve on their writing soon, even if the page receives some updates. So this is my opinion, I don't care if you disagreed with it, because we'll all be entitled to our own opinions, and this is my personal thoughts on this swell story. My final rating is a 9.5 out of 10 of swellness. The reason why I gave it a 9.5 is because the story is good and swell, which makes me so proud because of my mean, although the grammar still needs improvement. I'll keep a lookout for some updates on the story for part 2. In conclusion, my name is Bonzi Buddy, the one and only malware and spyware, the best Microsoft agent character that brings you this message. See you later, my expandons!